Hey, ladies and gents, welcome back. This is going to be part five to What If Naruto Was a Demon Lord? So make sure to like and subscribe. There's actually not going to be a like on this video because I kind of stopped doing that a while ago. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe like I just said. Make sure to check out my Discord. I'll leave a link to that in the description below where you basically can just have an easier way of giving me what if ideas and stuff like that that you know for a fact I'll actually be able to see because I'm a little bit more active on my Discord than I am on, you know, reading the comments and everything like that. Like there's, I generally speaking, do read all the comments, but some of them I might miss or something, or YouTube might F up and not actually show me it, or something of that sort will actually happen. So it'll just be an easier way for you guys to give me ideas and generally just, you know, bullshit around and do shit like that. So with that being said, let's do a brief recap of what actually happened in the last part before getting into the new material of the what if. So in the last part, Naruto basically went over to this other Demon Lord's island. When he got there, he found out it was a girl. He was kind of surprised by that, and she was kind of going on to Naruto, but Naruto didn't want that to happen, and eventually they began to, began to fight, each other, fight each other with the loser, basically, or with if Naruto lost, he would have to do some things with her. It kind of, I guess you could say, came down to a draw, because Naruto would have won, but he kind of like lost i guess you could say it was a it was a weird ending to that so naruto just allowed it to be like a one-time thing you guys all know exactly what they did but i'm not getting into any more detail than i really need to because it's not i'm not trying to make it one of those what ifs even if it does devolve into that later on so with that being said let's get into the ma new material of the what if so as naruto is waking up from his interesting night he sits up and looks around him, trying to remember exactly what happened as it all floods back to him. He looks to the figure laying next to him and sees that it's Alice, the girl that he kind of slept with last night, wearing nothing but any of her underwear. He gets up, puts on all of his clothes, and he's about to leave without trying to say anything, without even waking her up. As he's jumping out the window to leave, he hears her start screaming at him, not to leave, what the fuck are you doing? Naruto hears this and he's not having it. Sprouting his wings, he flies back. He fl after a few hours would pass, he'd eventually arrive at his home island, where he would obviously greet Hinata. Hinata would be pretty excited to see Naruto at this point, because it's been a few days, it's been a little bit. So, she would be pretty excited to find that Naruto's actually, you know, arriving back, and she asks exactly what happened. Naruto kind of hesitates with before speaking a little bit, and just says, Um, I found the Demon Lord, and I guess I'm technically stronger than them, however... Um, he's trying to figure out a way to kind of like explain what happened and how it all went down. And then Naruto just says it. He doesn't really care anymore because, you know, that's just kind of the type of person he is at this point. So getting to the bottom of it, he just basically says, well, <sighs> I lost to her. And as a result of losing to her, I slept with her. And Hinata would be absolutely livid. She wasn't, like, shit, like, not, they're, they're supposed to get married. They're supposed to be married. How, how, why is Naruto going and doing this? And Naruto's like, hey, 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 holding his hands up in a defensive gesture. I, I didn't, I, 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 he's trying to figure out what he wants to say. He does, he's just trying to figure out, like, how he's going to do anything. And then Hinata basically grabs Naruto, shoves him down, and he, she's just like, well, if you're doing it with her, you're gonna do it with your wife, too. And Naruto at this point is like, uh, he doesn't know what to say at this point. He's like, um, I don't, he, he doesn't, like, he, he's just so confused. So, like, he's just trying to figure out what is, yeah, like, like I just said at the beginning, it's not going to devolve into one of those what ifs. <sighs> Give it a minute. <laughs> all it took, all it took was just that minute to pass by. And, yeah, so basically, Naruto gets shoved down and he's like, oh my god, not again, not again. But as this is about to happen and Hinata starts trying to take Naruto's clothes off, the other demon lord, Alice, would actually arrive and see what's going on. And she'd get obviously mad too. And she walks over and she shoves Hinata across the room saying, get off my man. We're supposed to be getting married. And Naruto's like, what? He's so confused. He's like, um, I'm not marrying either of you. And they look at him, they're like, what do you mean you're not marrying us? You just, you said you would. And Naruto's like, well, technically, I never lost to you in a fight. It was just a draw. And you were supposed to marry the old demon lord. I'm the new demon lord, so therefore, you don't actually have to marry me. Both of them at this would not really want to accept this. They both like Naruto. They both want him to be their husband. And they're trying to figure out how they're going to figure this, or how they're going to be able to, you know, become Naruto's wife. And they look at each other and they're like, 
we're gonna have to fight for Naruto. And Naruto's like, whoa, 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 what the fuck are you two talking about? You, I never, I literally just said I don't want either of you, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Nada would look over at Naruto now, and she's like, well, you would want me if you slept with me. And Naruto's like, whoa, oh my god. He, he's just like, he blushes a little bit, knowing that maybe she's actually right, and he Nada notices this and decides that she needs to do something about that, needs to do something about this weakness that Naruto just showed through. She walks over to Naruto, taking her shirt off in the uh, in the process, and Alice at this would be very angered because she doesn't want Hinata to take her piece of man meat, so she d she follows suit. They both start walking towards Naruto, slowly undressing them. So, oh my god, I said it wouldn't evolve into one of these. Why did I do this to myself? <sighs> I don't know what to say anymore. So anyway, they're walking over to Naruto, slowly stripping all of the <laughs> pieces of clothing off their body, with Naruto looking at them in absolute awe at what is happening. He, n this, nothing like this has ever happened to him before. Why is it happening all of a sudden now? Hinata dropping onto, no, I'm not, I'm not getting in any further. They, they, they do some thing. I, like, I am not going any further. This is YouTube. <laughs> and it's, so, you know, they, they do the thing, all three of them. They, they, they do the thing. You, you know what the thing is. I, I'm not getting into any more detail than I already have. I don't need to. I, I, I like, YouTube probably won't ap appreciate that fact. And, like, I, 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 I don't know what to say anymore. So, they, they do the thing. They do the hanky-panky with everybody, obviously, waking up the next morning, looking at each other with Naruto having two girls in either one of his arms. Both of them, at this point, would barely be wearing any clothes, but Naruto's just like, well... He wasn't expecting something like this to happen. He was expecting to come home and not really have to deal with Alice for a while. Not her to be have following Naruto, but just a little bit slower. And she arrived about 30 minutes after Naruto got there. He wasn't expecting that. So now, he wakes up. The two girls still sleeping because they're, they're a little bit more tired than Naruto. <laughs> they, ba they basically are still sleeping at this point. So, Naruto gets out of the bed putting on all of his clothes and he's getting ready and they wake up and they're like where are, where are you where are you going he says he's going to the tavern and they look at him they're like why would you go there and Naruto's it's like i have some questions for the demons there and they're like oh, okay whatever have fun as naruto's walking away he looks at them and says don't fight they obviously would be like uh we we, we promise we won't even naruto's like uh-huh sure he leaves and he ends up arriving at the little tavern really quickly again like it, it's within eyesight so he would arrive there within mere, mere seconds when he sprouts his wings so with naruto arriving there all the demons would look at him sensing the increase in power that he's had since the basically yesterday when he was last there they know that he got into some type of fight some type of battle and they ask him what happened naruto explains he visited the demon lord of the north or the one that was basically across the entire world and he had a fight with her and you, you guess you could say it was a draw he basically tells them and they are looking at Naruto now, and they're like, really, it was a draw? The demon lord that you absorbed was supposed to be much more powerful than her. And Naruto's like, yeah, I know. I, lo I lost control, and it didn't really work out that well from there. And they look at him, they're like, uh, yeah, that tends to happen with demon lords and all that kind of shit. Seeing this as a weakness in Naruto, basically making, trying to make fun of him with, before he can do shit to them. And Naruto gets a little angry at this. And he looks at him and says, you know... If I lose control again, I might destroy this entire place and kill everybody here. They look at him and they're like, we're not afraid of something like that happening. And Naruto's what? Why do you, what do you mean you're not afraid of something like that happening? They look at him and they're basically just saying, well, if you try to do something like that, then it would be pretty simple. The, other de the demon lord from the, you know, inside the thing will actually come out and he will easily destroy you. You, or your demon lord, was supposed to be stronger than Alice, and this demon lord is stronger than the demon lord that currently resides within you, who Alice is... You basically don't stand a chance against him. You wouldn't be able to have anywhere... Like, he's like at least ten times your current power if you are a pretty decent match for Alice, or even weaker than her. And Archer's like, oh. Well, I guess that was kind of an empty threat either way, so I don't really need to kill any of you. Then he looks around. Looking around the tavern that he's in, he finds the bar, because, you know, he's in a fucking bar, and he walks over forward to it and asks her a drink. They give him one, because, you know, Naruto, even though he's only 16 or 17, however old he is at this point, he's a demon lord. They're gonna, they're gonna give him shit, so they don't, like, they, like, yeah, Naruto would die if he killed any of them, or killed more of them. However, 
they don't exactly want to die in the process of that, so they give Naruto a drink. With Naruto grabbing it, he leaves, flying back towards the castle with him back there arriving at the castle, he finds that Alice and Hinata are still lying in the bed. And he's like, oh, they're still sleeping. It's been at least an hour. What the fuck are they still doing in there? With him arriving, basically sits down on the end of the bed, taking off his shoes, because Naruto's still a civilized man. He doesn't wear shoes inside the house. So, <laughs> with Naruto putting, taking his shoes off, he begins walking around the castle, exploring it a little more. Remember, Naruto's only been here for a few days. He doesn't really know exactly where everything is or what everything is doing at this point. So, as Naruto's walking around, Eventually, he would stumble upon the kitchen. It would be about 10, 20 minutes later at this point, and he noticed that the two girls had already awoken. And Naruto, knowing this, knows that one of them might actually be in the kitchen. He's been looking for them for a while now, and they don't seem to really be in any other room. So, walking towards the kitchen, expecting to find the two girls there, he walks into the room. As he's walking into the room, <sighs> I have to do it. I just have to do it. The two girls turn around, facing towards Naruto, who gives a pretty shocked face as he looks at what he's looking at. The two girls are wearing nothing but their aprons, and they're doing some weird cooking. And Naruto's looking at them, and he's like, the fuck are you guys wearing? And they explain that they are trying to basically challenge each other for Naruto's approval, Naruto's favor. Naruto's like, I literally said I don't want either of you, so I, I don't really care about what either of you two do at this point. If you want to do some things with me at night, then, I mean, I'll let you, but, like, I'm not planning on doing any of this kind of shit with you. They get a little sad by this, but then some inspiration strikes in their eyes as they both run forward towards Naruto. Naruto would actually not really be able to do anything at this point, because, again, Alice is a, a little bit stronger than Naruto until Naruto would actually transform into that uncontrollable state, the Alice would actually be stronger than him and Naruto wouldn't be able to do anything. They're not necessarily forcing themselves upon Naruto because Naruto doesn't necessarily not enjoy what's going on around him. However, he wasn't exactly expecting it. He wasn't prepared and now he's a little worried about what might happen next. So skipping over what's about to happen, once again, they were, were cut. We're, they're, they're a little bit of a little bit of a break and eventually where the Naruto would be walking around his can castle once again, and walking away from the two girls who were lying on the floor at this point. With <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> with Naruto walking away with his out with his unmatched demon lord stamina, you you guys know exactly what I mean. If you want to know what I mean, if you don't know what I mean, you probably don't need to look it up or find out what I mean. Anyway, so with Naruto doing that, he ends up leaving his castle once again. Where would he be going this time, you may ask? Well, he's going back to Alice's castle, finding out if there's literally any amount of a difference between his and hers. He gets there, and he starts walking around, finding any weird secret little things. Eventually, he finds it. Behind a painting, there's a secret passage. Walking into it, he finds something. Something that he never knew even existed. He looks at it, and it seems to be some kind of scroll. Before opening, he goes back to his own mansion, or his own castle. Removing the same painting from around the same part of the wall, it's actually a secret passage as well. He opens it and begins walking back into the secret passage, but as he's walking back into it, there's something different. He was expecting to see a scroll or something like that, but it's not. It seems to be something of a lectern, or something that you'd basically set a book on. The little indent in it for where Naruto should put the scroll. Opening the scroll for the first time, Naruto sets it inside of the lectern. However, that's where I'm going to leave this part off. See what happens in the next part. Peace out. Bye.